guys. We do this thing together, close your eyes and take my hand. Because what we have is something special, baby. Let's just take our chance. Jaden. Today is our second Bible study. We will be uploading these every Sunday, or at least most Sundays. I mean, we'll probably miss a few. If you guys are interested, tune into these. Enjoy our topics. Well, we might have a few random things to talk about. I want to talk about, she's pushing me, our confidence in God. If you want, you can go ahead and watch last week's too, before you do this one if you want, but it's not really a continuation. Let's start with reading this. It's just a good little quote and verse. Oh my, she farted. <laughs> this book, um, it is Reflections of Love, Inspiration from Helen Steiner Rice, if you're interested. I really like this, and it says, How priceless is your unfailing love, both high and low among men, find refuge in the shadows of your wings. Psalm 36, 7. She wrote, How can the price of God's love be measured? He loved us enough to create us. He loved us enough to give us a free will. He loved us enough to pay the highest imaginable price to buy us back when we chose poorly and gave ourselves to another. Even though he loves us, even now he loves us more than we can know. He lovingly hears our prayers and guides our steps. God's love is not free, but it will cost you nothing. Dear friend, reach out to him and you will receive. I just really like that. I thought I'd share. You want to read it? I'll read it. You have I'll read it. Okay. I got my hands out. Thank you, Harlow. This is 1 John 5, 4, 14 through 15. Stop at 15. We might discuss 16 through 17. And this is the confidence that we have toward him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us in whatever we ask, we know that we have requests that we have asked of him. I really like this. Ayla and JC have had little Bible studies together. She's our friend, if you don't know who that is. We have a Bible study at school and Ayla leads it, but I'm gonna lead it um, probably the next time we go back. You brought this up before Bible study. She was talking to me at school, or no, it wasn't at school, it was here. She said, did you know that if you pray anything in God's will, he will do it? And I honestly just <laughs> recently heard that. Like, I didn't know it was like, you have, if it's in his will, he'll do it. That's how like, I pray. pray for it. That's how I pray. I ask God if, like, if he can do something for me, only if it's in his will. Well, I do now, too, but it took me a while because I didn't know, like, if it if you said that, it'll happen. Which is a really cool thing to have learned, especially from a friend. Tomorrow's her birthday. Hey, By the time you guys are watching this, she will be 14. So, happy birthday, little one. Happy birthday, <laughs> Peepsker. Pupson. But I just thought that was so cool because you really don't have to do much. We got the whole crew. Just cool that... Um, you can just ask something um, for God to do it if it's in his will and it happens. It's well, honestly pretty unbelievable to me. Like, that's all, all it takes. I want to talk about how, like, bad things happen to good people and good things happen to bad people. This is not to put anyone down who maybe doesn't know God as well as others. Because everybody can be very good people. Um, and even if you follow God, doesn't mean you're necessarily a great person. It it It's anyway, so... If, well, everybody is equally yoked to. God loves everybody the same. He sent his son to die for each and every one of us, no matter what. And God doesn't have favorites, guys. If you're a Christian and you follow God, doesn't it doesn't mean that he'll give you just as many blessings as someone who doesn't. You have to acknowledge that it's him who gives you your breath. Your breath. <laughs> well, yes, your breath. Ooh, your wait. blessings. And you just need to ask him to look for things in life that you know God gives to you, like another day, breath in your lungs, a beating heart. So well, I've seen this um, quote from someone. Um, I'm not really sure who said the quote. Imagine if you woke up tomorrow with having only the blessings that you prayed for <gasps> I saw today. that too. You be we happy need to pray with about what the little you have things. tomorrow. Um, if all you had tomorrow was what you prayed for today. Your family, your friends. Breath um, in your lungs. I want to talk about this too. This is just something um, Ayla was talking to me about in the class once. If anyone sees his brother committing a sin not leading to death, he shall ask and God will forgive him. To those who commit sins that do not lead to death. There is sin that leads to death. I do not say that one should pray for that, 
all wrongdoing is sin, but there is sin that does not lead to death. Ayla was like, what sin doesn't lead to death? I have always grown up thinking like, well, sin leads to death and that's that, which it does. Then this says, some does not. Isn't that just kind of something that makes you think? Ayla was like, what sins? Sins are sins. Let's compare murder to a lie. Those two things are very different. Maybe it means like, so there's just different things that are, well, of course sins, but like different levels, I guess. I'm not sure, that's just what I think, but if you guys want to, you can tell us. Her belly keeps making noises. Anyways, I think that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was short, but I feel like we covered a lot of little things and it was fun. Like and subscribe like and comment. And, sub. and we'll see you in our next video. Sub to my Twitch.